Hello everybody. Thanks for watching. This pattern tonight, it's hare's ear. Hare's ear wet fly. Not a typical hare's ear nymph, but a wet fly. Pretty classic old school pattern. I will explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. So first off, in the vise, I've got a size 12, 1x long wet fly hook, barbless. I'm going to be using red 8 aught thread. So lay down a base. We'll take it about back to the start of the bend. The tail on this is just two pheasant tail fibers. Pretty sparse tail, a little bit longer than some wet flies. You got two, if they're sticking together, just give them a little spin in your fingers till they come apart. Get them oriented like you like. I think that's about the right length right there. Push it down on the hook. One wrap. Another medium wrap. Check your alignment. Am I on center? Yeah, pretty close. Now we want about a small red tag on here. Not quite two millimeters. About, about like that I think is fine. So go ahead and cut the, the butt ends of these fibers off. Now for the rib, oval gold tinsel, French tinsel I guess it says, size medium. Now I will catch this in about midway to two thirds up. It's going to be some dubbing under here so you don't have to worry about adding any bulk to it. So bring this back, don't forget to leave a little bit of room for your tag there. Maybe a little bit farther back right there, okay. Come back a little forward, put some wax on your thread. Now the dubbing on this, it's hair's ear. That's why it's called a hair's ear. But I, I don't use straight hair's ear, that would make it extremely buggy. I mix it about oh, almost half and half with some regular rabbit fur. But you're still going to get plenty of the, the bugginess if you've got any of that hair's ear at all. So start rolling a, a little noodle on here. I push it up to the front or up to the top to get those first two wraps. Now I can pull it down and get it a little tighter. You don't need a real tight noodle on this. We're going to have that rib in there. But it makes it a little bit easier to wrap. Now build a little bit of taper as you go up. A little wider right there. And probably leave to about two eye lengths back. We do have a hackle and a little bit of a, a little of a wing to put on here. So it's kind of buggy looking right now, but counter wrapping this rib will take care of some of that bugginess. And you want it to be a little buggy anyway. That's part of the effectiveness of this Hair's Ear series. So on a size 12 here, probably can get five wraps on it. Let's see. I think that's five, almost six. But we'll catch it in tight before we snip this off. This thing will unravel on you if you don't get it in here pretty tight. So okay, now snip off your, your tinsel. Get your thread where we want to start the hackle, maybe a little bit back from where that is. Maybe one more turn back. Now for the hackle, it's brown hen, hen. So small fiber from the top of the cape. Just pull it back like this. Get you a tie-in point up here. Now these are pretty, pretty brittle. Not brittle, but soft fibers. And they'll break easy if you're not careful. So don't forget, I lay it with the concave side toward the hook. It makes it for a little bit better of a wrap. So get that caught in, bend that back over on itself and several more locking wraps right there before we snip this off. Okay. A little bit of fibers coming off out there. We can probably get that cleaned up when we're wrapping our head. So it's a pretty small feather here. You don't have a whole lot of room to work with, so you might need your hackle pliers. 
just preen it back carefully wrap it around it's probably going to take two and a half maybe three wraps on this so that's that's two right there that's two and a half okay we can probably go almost a full third wrap right there so just catch this in are we tight I think so tight enough to snip this off now just just preen these back and start locking them in build us a little base so we can catch the have a, have a landing spot for this wing up here so I think that looks fine right there you can still see that underbody still see some of that gold tinsel the hackles not too bulky on us there okay so for the wings it's hen pheasant just some two slips from a matching pair of primary flight feathers length a little bit past the bend of the hook not so far back as the tail so measure your length swap hands make sure you've got your thread hanging where you want the tie in point to be and I did there so I'm holding it pretty tight with my material hand loose wrap and then pull it down right there now another wrap before we check our position it's not too late to to scrap this this wing and put another one on if you, you've messed it up but let's check our our bird's eye view okay we're pretty well centered on the top so I think we're going to go with that. A couple more lock and wraps right here before we snip this off. This thing will, if you're not careful, it will spin on you when you snip it. So just get in here and snip this as close as you can. It's a little bit, a uh, few extra fibers right there. I could probably wrap that up in the head, but I can just take my finer tip scissors and clean that up a little bit more that way the head will be just a little bit easier to wrap I'll get that back so I don't catch it so for the head just go right back up to the eye build a little ramp and as you ramp it back up you will bury those fibers right there with any luck and you won't get that hackle there I'm gonna have to pull that one off so we got a little bit that's still showing under there that's fine I'm, I'm happy enough with that so four or five turn whip finish some head cement and we'll be done now one trick i like find your perpendicular point where the thread is coming out pull it put a little bit of tension on it open your scissors and just poke them through you don't even need to snip got a little bit of red fiber on that head coming off but there you have it folks if you've watched this far i really appreciate it the hare's ear wet fly old school traditional wet fly winged wet fly pattern works great all over the all over the world 